the deep breath. Whew. So I used to be um, addicted to doing ecstasy, but I don't know. Like, I don't know if you can actually physically be addicted to ecstasy. I'm talking about MDMA, like the street street name of the drug is ecstasy. Um, I think, oh, I don't think, I know. And the clinical term for it is MDMA. So when I was in high school, I was going through probably, well, I mean, my whole childhood just was a big giant challenge of hardship. <laughs> it was so hard, but um, high school was very hard because I was living with my alcoholic grandmother. I was neglected. I was very low self-esteem, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I turned to drugs. And my drug of choice, one of my drugs of choice during high school was ecstasy. And I did a lot of it. Now, if you've never done ecstasy, um, there are <laughs> there are ways to do it in a clinical setting or uh, with a uh, practitioner that knows what they're doing in a very safe way. And um, and that's usually with MDMA because it's um, it can be very, very healing. Now, I wasn't doing um, excuse me, I just had lunch. I wasn't doing MDMA or sorry, ecstasy to heal. I was doing ecstasy to check out. But here's what ecstasy does. Ecstasy, in my experience of it, was it brings you this thing, this um, feeling of euphoria and like everything is okay. Like all, everything dissolved, all my pain dissolved, all of the programming of the matrix dissolved, everything dissolved. And for about two hours, because there's peaks and valleys in these drugs, right? For about two hours, I felt like I was in utopia. And then the whole journey usually takes like five, six hours. But by the time I got done with it, and as I was coming down off of it, I would always get depressed. Like always coming back to reality, like shit, that was real that was manufactured and I'd be back in my reality and I wanted nothing more but to get back to the utopian energy um, feeling that the ecstasy brought me. And it really felt like it dissolved all our limitation. It dissolved all of the things that the matrix put on us, all of the programming, all of the disease, all of um, the hatred, all of the racism, all of all just all of it felt like it was dissolved. Um, so I did that a lot until I was about 18 or 19 and then got exhausted by it because it takes, it robs you of your energy, the street ecstasy. I felt hungover. Um, I got very, very thin. Um, anyway, it, it doesn't matter. It's not like, it's not that good for you. Um, and I was not doing it in, in moderation. So that was a problem. Now, why am I sharing this with you? The reason I'm sharing this with you is because You know, I think about the collective a lot and I think about my role in the collective. I also think about your role in the collective. I think about um, how are we going to get out of this matrix shit show we have been in for thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of years. And many of us know and feel that what we're doing on earth, there's something isn't right. Something is not lining up. And if you are in the spiritual world, which if you're watching one of my videos, you are in the spiritual world. You're, you're at least curious. You're at least wondering, hmm, what's this about? Um, you've heard the words ascension. You've heard the word 3D, 5D, 6D, 12D. You've heard, I don't know if there is a 6D. Um, you've heard these words. Now, many people, many teachers believe that we are in the time of an, we are in, a, in an ascension process. Um, and I, the only reason I got alert, I get allergic to that word is because it's overused and people don't really know what they're talking about. In fact, I don't fully know what I'm talking about. That's why I don't talk about it. And I'm learning, what does that mean that we're in this time of ascension? I do know, and I do feel, and I do intuit, and my guides have shown me, and I have known this for a while, and especially when COVID hit, I was like, all this stuff came down. I just saw. The veils just got lifted, layers of veils. And um, I was like, interesting. This ascension thing is starting to make sense because for us to ascend, we got to break down. We got to break down. We got to break down the systems that have controlled us 
um, that have kept us small for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. And we're not, it's not a Titanic situation. We're not sinking, we're ascending and it's painful. Now, there have been, my understanding of this is that I'm going to come back to the ecstasy in just a minute, and I'm just learning all this, but my understanding of this is that through different cycles, and I don't know what the process is, I don't know how long it is, but um, after so many years, the earth has gone through multiple attempts to ascend, but there has always been interruption in that, and um, there are powers that be that keep us down that are um, not just in not just humans that are on like a power level on a world leader level, but there are other beings out there that want to keep us down that want to keep us in the matrix want do not want us awakening. And um, but there have been times in history that they have manipulated it, that it was like, oh, it's time for the earth to ascend and they've plugged in all this stuff to keep us down. But what my understanding is what's happening right now is they're not going to be able to do it. Everything is aligning, all of the energy, all of the, the grids, all of the ley lines, all of the, I don't understand all of it, but it's all aligning. I can feel it, but I don't understand the scientific piece of it. Um, it's all aligning. And that the lower frequencies that have been controlling us and programming us with like things like poverty consciousness, procrastination, you're not good enough BS stuff that keeps our vibration down is on its way out. It's not going to be able to survive, but the gate, but that means the game for us has been up, up and up and up. We don't get a free ride. It's like, oh, great. We're just going to sit back and wait to ascend to the new earth. Mm -mm. You got to do your work. So back to the ecstasy. Where do we want to go? Where do humans want to go? I know this human and a lot of the humans I talk to, we want to go to that place of ecstasy, not being high. We want to go to that place where just like the drug, everything dissolved for two hours, all of the limitations, all of the programming, and we expanded, expanded, but we want to live in that. We want to get to that place where that's where we're living. And humans have that potential. We're absolutely incredible. But we just like, it's literally like a computer system. The minute you're conceived in your belly, one, you're reading all your karma from your past lives and all those timelines. You're like, okay, got to deal with that. And then, <laughs> then you're like, pop out. Well, you got all the programming from your mom inside the belly. Got that. Then you pop out and then it all starts media. Do this, do that. All the stuff we're dealing with, right? It's absolutely fascinating. It's fascinating. So we all want to get to that expanded state that state of like ecstasy so to speak but in order to get there we've got to do the real work and we have got to unplug from the programming of the matrix and how do we do that we do that by doing our inner work and every time i say that it's like it's weird it's like i can feel people go not you may not be you but i can feel people listening to this go oh yeah that's right i gotta do the work no, it's like, woo, I got, I get to do the work because this is why you're here. You're here to learn. You are here to grow and you are born and alive during a time that's absolutely deliciously fucked up <laughs> and amazing. You chose to be alive during one of the most magical, incredible, pivotal moments in human history. And my urge for you and for myself is we don't waste it because we have the opportunity here to transcend. This is what people do. It's like, yeah, I took the drug ecstasy to get there, but honestly, I can get to that state in meditation now. I can get to that state in a massage, which I go to, into meditation to the massage. I can get through that state sometimes in exercise walking connecting to nature i don't need a drug like i did when i was young but I, I can hold i can't my thing is i can't hold it all day so then i go into the doing and all the things but there's possibility and then there are some weeks i am so bogged down by my own crap 
that I'm not, you know, I do my meditations, I do the things, but I'm not as expanding as much because I'm still like, Ooh, I'm in an upper limit of clearing stuff out. Like, Oh, there's that labyrinth and that worry thing hasn't gone away. And woo. And then I get to be patient. And then I get to be patient and then I get to be spiritual warrior style. Recommit. Don't give up. Refocus. So we have big work to do. Big, big, big work. Big things happening. Big change. This year, I don't want to show your code for you. There's some, there's things coming. And so here in the spiritual warrior here, <laughs> my office, um, my compound here, um, it's not a compound, but we are building a raft. We are building community. And my vision is you get to be, a, you are a part of that. We're a part of that. Because we're stronger in numbers too. That's probably a whole other video. All right. Let's create ecstasy through evolving ourselves, meditation, and releasing the programming of the matrix that no longer serves us. And I love the word matrix so much. All right. My name is Beth Osmer, and I will see you on the next video.